The practice of heating water supplies at local hotels with solar energy instead of natural gas or electricity is gaining ground. In Aspen, the Saint Regis and the Hyatt Grand have new solar thermal systems on their roofs. The Regis's installation spans nearly the entire rooftop and is surrounded by exhaust fans. The installation consists of long, skinny solar tubes that are positioned at an angle to grab the best sun. There are more than 1,100 of them. The tubes themselves collect the the、uh, solar、uh, rays, and and then we have a header system that takes the heat、uh, and transfers it to our storage tanks downstairs for hot water. Director of Engineering for the Regis, Ed Marshall, says the tubes are more efficient than solar panels, and the heat produced has already saved the hotel over eighty thousand dollars in energy bills. We feed our guest rooms. We feed Feed our、uh, public areas. The solar is our primary source. The system was installed last year. It was the first of its kind at a hotel in Aspen, and since then, others are considering following suit. Aspen Square is very interested in in、uh, both the the、uh, resource and energy conservation,、uh, and of course、um, the. The relatively quick payback—it's a financial advantage as well. That's general manager of the Aspen Square Condominium Hotel Warren Klug. He says the hotel on East Cooper Avenue would be perfect for the solar tubes because it has a flat roof. He wants a system installed this year, which would heat the domestic water supply, the pool, and the hotel's snowmelt system. The Aspen Skiing Company is also considering a solar thermal system on the roof of its 90-room Snowmass Club. Ski co-director of sustainability Auden Schindler. We've got、uh, a reasonably、uh, accessible and flat roof that isn't too complicated and、uh, it has good、uh, sun exposure. And I think that it's finally getting out there to the rest of the hotels and condo associations that、um, it is a really effective way. To cut your costs and provide a, a cleaner, greener source of energy. That's Nathan Ratledge with the Community Office for Resource Efficiency. He says while the solar thermal systems have an upfront cost, the Regis paid half a million dollars for theirs. There is savings over the long term. It generally falls beneath what you would be paying for traditional fuel sources. So it's the most effective thing practically that most people can do. The Saint Regis used about two hundred thousand dollars in federal grant money to help pay for their project.